So the requirements of the project states that you need to have a dimension flow plan with grids, furniture plan showing locations of furniture, and a colored flow plan. So let's see what the differences are in these and how to create our flow plans. Now there might be ways that different people interpret um, flow plans and how they are referred to, but for this project at least, how I am referring to these flow plans is the dimension flow plan with grids need to have just the dimensions, the, just the partitions and the grids. There are no furniture included in this. So it just gives you information about how to create the partitions within the building. It doesn't have any um, layouts in terms of furniture in it. It doesn't have any tags in it. So it's just basically the walls and the grids that you have. Um, the furniture plan, on the other hand, it has the walls and uh, partitions. Also, it has a piece of furniture. It has tags, uh, and it's it's more descriptive. So you can go in and see where the different pieces of furniture and what these pieces of furniture are. Also, it it can also have um, wall tags. Uh, sorry, um, the window tags and the door tags as well. So in this one, the dimension floor plan, it doesn't have any um, tags. Uh, no annotations, uh, no furniture, just the walls with the grids and dimensions. That's that's it. The furniture plan, it doesn't have dimensions. It has furniture, it has uh, annotations, uh, the, the tags, the furniture tags, as well as the door window tags. The colored flow plan, we'll go in and see well, how to create a colored flow plan. We've looked at how to create a colored flow plan previously. But we will go and take a look at how to create a colored flow plan. Uh, next. So let's go ahead and see uh, how to um, create these two uh, flow plans. I'm going to go into my project and I'm going to right click and duplicate this view, duplicate with detailing. So now I have this one's going to be my bench level one bench plan. This one's going to be uh, just a level one uh, dimension, uh, the basic uh, level one plan with dimensions. There's no, uh, there's not going to be any uh, tags, furniture, or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into level one and I'm going to turn these off. So I can just go in and turn off all of the tags. I'm going to say um, hide, hide in view. So I'm going to hide the category tags. So the, let's see what happens. All of the tags go away. I'm going to do the same thing here. Hide in view, hide category. So all the rooms go away. And I'm just going to, I'm going to also hide, um, hide in view category. All the furniture gets hidden as well. There are a couple of other tags here. So I'm going to right click hide in view category. Let's go away. Same thing here. Um, hide in view, hide category. So now I have my basic wall partitions. Now I can go ahead and add my grids in here. So I can go into um, architecture and I can start. I can start adding my grids. Uh, the grids are here. So we talked about grids previously on how to place our grids. I'm gonna add. I'm going to use the column grid as my base. So I might have to go back and kind of change things, but that's okay for now. Just gonna, maybe I need to extend this. Oh. It needs to extend all the way up. This one. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna create a new set of grids. There we go. It's one. So it start because I deleted. It starts with three. I'm gonna rename it as one. And I'm gonna right click and say um, create similar. I can do that. There's two. And there's three. I'll have to come back and kind of refine it using this column grid for the grid. And um, 
Is that it? Where we have a column right here. Come back and refine it in a bit. Um, I think. Uh, let's do this one. Is there a column right there? I think so. So there. It's fine. It's cutting into. It's okay. There's another one here. I think. So I can go back and refine it. And on the other side we have so this side I'm gonna have it as letters. So I'm gonna go back and before I start I'm gonna change this to A and it's gonna automatically take the next one. So architecture, where is my grid? And there we go. See, it becomes B. Then another one here. And another one here. <coughs> I want to go in and... Now that's my grid, but I might want to go in and kind of find things a bit. So there you go. And that's it. I think that's it. Um, and then we might want to start adding our dimensions. So we can go ahead and start adding dimensions. Um, always add the smallest dimension closer to the um, to the face of the wall on this side. So maybe I need dimensions, the internal dimensions, so I can do that. Um, and then I can get a dimension here, I can get a dimension there. Maybe um, the best way to do this is by center to center, um, all centers. That's it. And uh, if I have more dimensions, just add those in as well. So this one maybe is important. That one might be important. So like that, it, it depends on what you think is important when you add dimensions. Whatever is helpful for contractors to build it. The next set of dimensions are going to be uh, grid to grid. I'm going to do a grid to grid one. <coughs> For this exercise, uh, three layers of dimensions are enough. So I'm going to do uh, grid to grid one like so. And then the last one is going to be an overall dimension. So I have three layers of dimensions. And I can do the same thing on the other side as well. So add the dimensions. So this is going to be my uh, level one flow plan, the dimension flow plan, and this one is going to be my uh, furniture flow plan with uh, with uh, with my offices. The third one is going to be I'm going to uh, duplicate this uh, again. Duplicate with um, let's do D. Just uh, duplicate so that I can I don't have uh, the dimensions I have the grids but I don't have the di dimensions so that, that's fine so this one it has the grids in it it doesn't have the dimensions this one has dimensions right this one's gonna be my uh, level one uh, colored flow plan so that's uh, gonna be my colored flow plan in the next video let's take a look at how to create the colored flow plan